We're here with Karen Koritzer, CEO of the ARC Oneida Lewis, and we're at the ribbon cutting for the new or the Get It and Go, which you guys purchased uh, here a few months ago. Right. So, um, this is your second venture into a business. So, mm -hmm. kind of what 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 motivated you guys to branch out into that line of uh, things? Well, you know, for us, we've we've uh, we did this a couple years ago, a few years ago now, where we had purchased a business in a community um, for that was recycling and bottle recycling, and we found that it was a great opportunity for people that we support to not only be employed within the community, but also to have that community interaction and connection and friendships that would develop with the, with the repeated customers that would come in. And, and it's just such a great opportunity. It's uh, minimum wage that they get paid. Um, they uh, feel really good about the, the work that they're doing, that they're getting paid minimum wage, that they're out in the community. And that was such a successful business. And then we were able to expand that business more and more with businesses that we really started to look at well what else could we do and what in Lewis County could we do that that could have that same type of feel and pattern so um, it was actually a, uh, one of our staff and our employees who told us about get it and go and that the the current that uh, the former owner had been looking at maybe um, getting out of the business and um, looked to us as maybe a partner and that's how it really started and we started talking about it how we could do it um, be successful um, we have to get our numbers guy involved and our staff involved to make sure we can do it um, we found the people that we support who were interested in being employed here and also helping out on the on the front end before we open the business every day and it's just been such a win-win all the way around and it's great great food I've, I'm not saying that you know just because I'm the CEO but I've been here two or three times since we've opened and and it's just amazing and we hear such great um, uh, you know, people just are just so really proud of the work that we're doing, but also really uh, interested in coming in here to see the people that we support, and then also having great um, food. Perfect. So, how many people are you guys actually employing here at the Get It and Go location? You know, I think we are actually looking at two to three, um, two to four people. Uh, ultimately, uh, we do have a couple people who are employed now, um, and then we also have some people who um, help to do some volunteer work out of our Dayhab program that's up the street, and they help to do the food prep early on, you know, to sort of right. help the guys that come in when the when the store opens and when the deli opens. Um, so all of that together, you know, has been a nice team effort. And I think um, that's something that we're really very proud of is our ability to have that team, um, that teams working together right. to support a business, to, to feel like we're, you know, entrepreneurs and business, you know, right. owners in the community. And that's not something that you usually see with nonprofits, right. uh, human services organization, but we've decided to make the shift and, and right. really for the goal to get people out in the community uh, and employed. And is this intended for long-term employment for the employees here or is it more like a training employee? Do you, are you trying to work uh, certain numbers of people through the program? No, or? I think that whenever um, somebody is employed here, if they want to stay here for you know the next 25 years or mm -hmm. whatever, um, that would be great. That's, that's perfectly, um, that would be actually th the goal. We want people right. to be so interested in working here and to keep coming back and, and happy about their job and and um, want to, you know, be employees for the long term. Right. So that would be great. Um, we do have uh, some people that help us out in um, early in the morning, you know, to get us ready, and that can be some um, vocational training right. uh, for us. So uh, for those people, so it is. Um, it's a nice um, um, opportunity, I think, all the way around. And you guys just named a new director of business development. Yes, our executive. We have a new executive director of um, uh, business enterprises. His name is Chad Hartwig. Okay. He is here actually, right behind you. Mm -hmm. um, and he has hit the ground running. He will be overseeing the operations here um, and as well as working uh, in partnership with our director of uh, employment solutions um, to make sure that people you know, continue to be happy in their jobs and doing what they need to do here. So, um, yeah, it's, it's uh, and Chad and I actually will be working together looking at other businesses in the community here and Ida, you know. You're okay. reading my mind. <laughs> um, and to just be able to uh, see what else is out there for opportunity. So our our you know doors are always open for for discussions. If anybody has a business that they're interested in maybe talking to us about that they'd like to get out and would like to talk with us about it, we now have cut our teeth on two business ventures that have been very successful. So we're happy right. to do it. Well, great, Karen, and thank you very much for taking the time to speak with us today. Thank you. And thank good you luck with out. your new venture here. Thank you very much. Yeah.